Hi everyone, CG Seb here. Quick tutorial about how to use the dust uh, on Fluent Materializer, which is an add-on for Blender. So here I have a quick scene, just simple object, and I have a simple texture. I just duplicate it on the different part and just change the color here. So if you want to copy my layer, uh, you can just pause on the video and copy it. We're gonna start from this. All right, so now that we have the basic, we want to actually use this layer as the dust on this object. So just go to imperfection here, go to dust, and we have a new node here. Uh, we're gonna actually use the mask and put it in the mask of this. As you can see here, the dust is here, but it is on the back and it is not on the top like it is supposed to be. And if you have the dust not on the top, but here or somewhere on the side, it's because you need to apply the rotation of your object. So you select your object, Control A and apply the rotation here and you see directly boom it's put it uh, right on the top because the dust mask here is actually using the z axis of the object so we're gonna apply the rotation of all the objects right now to make sure that we don't have this issue again select every object and apply rotation all right so basic dust here um, we're gonna actually play with the settings i'm gonna teach you how to play with the different settings we have the first settings which is the seed the seed is to change the randomness of the little dots that you have here you see here the little dot and uh, if you change the seed it actually can change how it looks in most of the scene, we're not going to see them anyway, so I don't really bother. You can actually change the scale if you want, so this will increase or decrease the size of those small dots. Okay. I'm gonna let it point to which is by default. The amount, of course, is how much dust it will have. So it depends if you want something uh, covered with dust or uh, just a little layer of dust. I think this is pretty cool. Um, right, then you're gonna have the contrast. The contrast is basically the, how the dust will fade between the top part and the bottom part. So if you decrease the contrast, you're gonna actually see here, it's gonna go lower uh, on the object. Notice that if you approach the zero, you can have some weird issue like that. This is because the dust is using uh, also, um, I think, ambient occlusion, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And uh, you can have some shading problem here because this is a complex, complex surface here so usually I always try to keep it not close to zero to have like a fade like it's fading like that and it's working pretty good um, so the dust is actually affecting here here like a real dust on an object so that's pretty cool and then we have the angle limits, I'm not entirely sure here what it does, but from my experience, it, it does practically the same as uh, the contrast. If you lower it, it's gonna actually increase here and go down. I think it's uh, the angle of the object. So if you are making a bigger angle, uh, it's gonna actually stay the dust gonna stay on the lower angle 
faces. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it 90, it's pretty cool by default. And here we are, so I'm gonna lower this a little bit and we have a pretty boring dust here. And to make it more interesting, we're gonna actually mix it with a grunge. So if you go here, you go to the grunges and grunge number three. I'm gonna put it like this and we're gonna actually mix those two uh, together. So you press F and you press here uh, multiply. Up, you drag it this here and boom. You plug the result into the other and we have something like that. Uh, it looks a little bit weird and this is because we need to decrease the details here. So if you put two, for example, you're gonna have something more soft here and on the edges of this grunge mask. I'm gonna put scale, um, probably something like 0.1, maybe one is enough. One is enough, pretty cool. Great, so we can play with the seed if you don't like how it looks, play with the scale to increase, decrease the scale. And of course, if you put lower details, you will have more fade uh, shapes here. So probably something like that. And now you have something more realistic per se. Uh, I can play with the coverage and we have that. So yeah, that was it for this quick tutorial. I hope you like it and see you on the next one.